Please pay attention. I'm going to teach you one of the most important components in computer motherboard. This component is the ceramic capacitor. I'm going to teach you how to test it using the multimeter in a right way. I'm going also to teach you how we can use the ceramic capacitors to find or to detect the short circuits in the motherboard. I'm going also to teach you the purpose of the ceramic capacitors in the motherboard and much more. So we gonna see in this video two parts, a theory part and a practical part. Where I'm going to teach you how to test ceramic capacitors, any kind of ceramic capacitors using the multimeter step by step. So let's get started. Please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one. And to be part of our family where I have over 1000 friends, you are very welcome. All links in the description. Also, you gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video. The ceramic capacitor is no polarized capacitor. Okay, so here we have a cross section of a ceramic capacitor. As you can see, it is composed of many layers, as you can see here. The insulation material between layers, okay? So here, as you can see, we have the ceramic capacitor terminals, okay? This is terminals, okay? Exactly like this. And of course, here, this is the metal electrode, okay? And here, this is the dielectric or insulation materials. So now, I'm going to show you how to calculate the ceramic capacitor code. So using the same working principle as the resistor so the first and the second digits are fixed numbers okay the third digit is the multiplier okay so the third digit is the multiplier but for the ceramic capacitor the fourth digit or letter is the tolerance so if you find j means five percent okay k 10%, M, 20%. See an example. For example, let's say we have a ceramic capacitor with 104K. So this code means 10 and 4 zeros, as you can see. So plus or minus 0.1 microfarads. So 0.1 microfarad, as you can see, is the tolerance because here we have the K, so K, 10%. Okay, so 10% of this number. We have here three numbers. So always, as you can see, the first digit, the second digit, and this is the multiplier. But if we have four digit, as you can see here, so the first digit, the second digit, we have the multiplier, the digit number three, and the fourth digit is the tolerance okay the tolerance this digit have to be j or k or m okay here we have some examples so we have one zero and four means as you can see here 100 picofarad okay here we have four seven three j so means as you can see here 47 thousand picofarad okay and j the tolerance is five percent always the ceramic capacitors are measured with picofarad but for the electrolytic capacitors and tantalum capacitor the unit is microfarad so now let's see the symbols of capacitors so basically there is two types of symbols symbols for polarized capacitors and non-polarized capacitors so as you can see here all the symbols are the same so here this is a symbol for a polarized capacitor for an electrolytic capacitor here we have plus and minus okay always the top terminal is the plus here we have plus and minus so this is plus and this is minus 
this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal okay always the top terminal is is the positive terminal here as you can see we have plus and minus and here this is the positive terminal and this is the ground terminal for the polarized capacitor we use it usually this two kind of symbols this and this okay for non-polarized capacitors we have these three symbols but we use it usually these symbols as you can see so this is also a uk symbol and here this is a us symbols so but we use this usually so as you can see this three symbols doesn't have the plus and minus sign okay because those are no polarized capacitor as you can see over here this is basically the ceramic capacitors that we can at least use in the multimeter so i want just to see that you can find many types of ceramic capacitors in laptop motherboards and computer motherboards for example you can find this kind of ceramic capacitors big ceramic capacitors also here we have other ceramic capacitors as you can see over here so to test the ceramic capacitors we gonna use as you can see here the continuity option we gonna use this option okay. so let's begin and test for example this big capacitors over here so we can just put one probe here okay and the other probe in the other terminals do you see we get a reading here in the multimeter we should not get a reading like this a zero in the multimeter if we get a reading like this means the capacitor is shorted okay so let's check the second one over here okay we have here the same reading so these capacitors are good so i want to add here that for example this capacitor is not like this one in terms of size so if you have for example a failed capacitor like this one you should replace it with another ceramic capacitor with the same size and same color because above ceramic capacitors we don't have here values like for example tantalum capacitors or electrolytic capacitors that's why if you find a failed ceramic capacitor you should replace it with another one with the same color and same size this for example and this are same okay but as you can see here this one for example and this one are not the same this is a brown color and this color as you can see is not like this one those also over here are not the same as this one so for example if this one is failed do not replace it by this one or this one you should replace it by another one for example these two are the same these two here are same this one no okay so this is how you can replace ceramic capacitors here also as you can see if for example this one is failed we can replace it with another one with the same size and same color but for example do not replace this one by this one okay so over here we have many ceramic capacitors basically here this is the back of the ICH okay so for this kind of ceramic capacitor so if we test it as you can see let's check it for example here do you see we get in the multimeter about 17 a low reading as you can see let's check another one for example as you can see this is not a short circuit so for chipsets always we will get a low reading okay so because these capacitors are under the ICH that's why we get this reading I can even prove to you so I'm going to prove to you in this motherboard so guys thank you very much I hope that you understand this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and join me in my patreon page for more unique content down now schematics and more and also you can visit my website for more articles 
about hardware repair, troubleshooting dead motherboards, no power motherboards, no data motherboards, tips and tricks, etc. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.